Favourite crunch time snack? Well, I mean, over the years, so many crunches, so many movies, so many projects, it varies. Uh, I mean, one time we would have just immediately said pizza, uh, but I would probably say these days, being uh, somewhat older and somewhat more sensible, I would have a nice carrot stick. Well, favourite film that I've not worked on, I mean, my favourite film, uh, favourite films include things like 2001, I would love to have worked on that, but I was uh, not even born when they started making that film, it's that old, so I wouldn't have been able to work on that. Uh, I would have loved to have worked on uh, Terminator 2, uh, in terms of a modern visual effects film. Um, that would have been a great one to be part of, because you know, those guys were pioneering a new way of creating imagery with the computers, so it's very, very exciting, and it still holds up today. Best bit of crew advice I've ever received, and I, you know, I try to remember this all the time, is just be nice to people. So many people forget that, and we see, sometimes we see bad behaviour from filmmakers, and some people are legendary for their tempers and you know, their capricious behaviour. But at the end of the day, you, know, you want to get people to work with you, not just for you. And, uh, and you do that by being nice, you know, and it just makes everyone feel happier and you feel happier. Um, it's slightly terrifying, really. I mean, it happens so quickly, you know, the moment between when they call you out your name and then you're up on the stage. You don't really have too much time to actually think about what's going on. You just got to get on with it and do it. Um, and you've kind of memorised a speech because you have 45 seconds to get it out uh, and they're going to play you off, words, play the music and drown you out if you overstep your 45 seconds. Um, so you're sort of on autopilot. Um, the last time it happened to me, it was uh, so nerve-wracking, I don't actually really remember anything about it. I would say the most famous person in my contact list is my colleague and collaborator, Professor Kip Thorne from Interstellar, who uh, he is a world-leading theoretical physicist and he won the Nobel Prize for Physics a couple of years after he made Interstellar. So he's one of the most famous scientists in the world. And he's not, I wouldn't say he was a household name, uh, but uh, he's definitely right up there in the, you know, in the list of people that I feel extremely lucky to have met and to have worked with and to be able to call a friend.